Hey, what's up guys? So on my S20 Ultra, this comes with the uh, feature called Space Zoom, which gives you 100 times zoom. Now, I just wanted to give you an idea of how good or bad this is, because I've uh, seen a lot of people talking about this as a standout feature on the Ultra edition of the S20 range. But I'm going to give you some sample pictures to show you what actually the 100 times zoom looks like. But before I do that, let me just quickly show you here. In photo mode, you'll see a whole load of different lengths that you can zoom into. So you've got one times, two times, four times, 10, 30, and then ultimately the last one, which is 100. Now I'm going to take pictures on this using a tripod. So the camera is going to be very still, but I'm also going to show you a sample of how a picture comes out. If you take the phone using your hand, as you can see, I'm just holding it right now. And it's very hard to, to keep the camera very still at hundred times zoomed in. So it's going to be very tricky. It's going to be interesting. So let's just get straight into it. Okay guys, so just looking at this first picture here, now this is the main telephoto lens and as you can see, it's just my street, there's a few houses around and I'm actually gonna be trying to zoom into an animal that I can see in a window in the distance. So from this picture, you can't tell. So if I go into 2X zoom, you can see it's very clear, it's still concise. Moving into four times zoom, it's uh, looking great. I can uh, read the license plates. I can see a lot of details in the pictures. Now 10 times zoom, I'm pretty impressed here as well. It's just like as if I've just taken the picture very close up. You can now start seeing the animal that I'm talking about in the window. It's coming there in a distance. Now 30 times zoom is where I usually would cut off my limit if I was to do any zoom in, but here it's still clear, it's still concise. Now let's go on to the 100 times zoom. And as you can see, I've managed to capture that animal or that object in the window. And just to let you know, my camera is on a tripod as well, so it's very stable. So there's not a lot of blur or shakiness in this picture, so I don't see much distortion, although it is very grainy and it's not completely shot. So I wouldn't really use this for any specific purpose, but Again, I can see if you really was to focus on something in the distance, then if you have it on a tripod, perhaps you can capture something useful. But I guess if you're outdoors and you wanna capture landscapes very zoomed in, maybe there's a mountain in the distance, it might be useful for that. But if you're trying to capture an object, then I think it doesn't do justice by using that 100 times zoom. Again, let's move on to another picture. Now I'll be zooming into another window in the distance. So this is the one times without any zoom. Moving into two times, four times, 10 times. It's getting very clear, 30 times. And then let's finally move into 100 times. So again, as you can see, it's a bit grainy. There's not too much details. It's very washed out. The colors are not too great. And I wouldn't see myself using this for any purpose. Now let's take it outdoors into the park where I feel like I want to get a little bit more of a detailed picture. So here is a really large field. I was just sitting down and again, the camera is on a tripod. Now there's a few people way back there in the distance just sitting on benches and I wanted to see if I can capture any person and any details on their face if I do the 100 times zoom. So let's go into two times. Let's fast forward a bit. That's a 10 time zoom. You can see there's three people there on that bench just having their lunch. Going into 30 time zoom, it's pretty clear. I can see someone there just uh, smiling. And now let's go into 100 times. And as you can see, that is not a great picture. It's, you really can't tell who that person is and it's just very cartoonized. So I feel like it's not really giving you any details. I didn't edit this in any way. It feels like you get one of those apps that make you look like a retro cartoon or a comic book character or something like that. This is how that picture has come out. Not sure what's gone on with the processing, but it's not too great. Finally, this last picture, I wanted to try it handheld without a tripod to see if the zoom is any worse than um, on a tripod. So here I am in my courtyard to my apartment. I'm trying to zoom into a sign on the glass door in the distance. This is four times zoom, 10 times, 30 times, and I can just about read what it says on there, which is pretty impressive from how far I was standing. Now, going into 100 times zoom, I was trying to capture it, and it took me about 10 to 12 seconds to hold the camera steady in my hand to try and capture this one sign here. And actually after 12 seconds, I was impressed that I did manage to capture it. Although I can't read 
everything on there, the majority of it, I can read that. But again, I feel like if you're gonna use the Zoom to read any descriptions, it's definitely not worth buying this phone just for that purpose. Now, overall, in conclusion, I would say if you was going to buy the S20 Ultra, specifically for the 100 times Zoom or the Space Zoom, because they have marketed that very heavily, then I would definitely recommend not to do that because for 95% of the time, you are never going to use that Space Zoom. If you're gonna use 30 times zoom or anything less than that, I would just stick with the S20 Plus. But for me, paying over a thousand pounds for the Ultra Edition, specifically for the zoom camera, I definitely don't think it's worth it. You can see some of these pictures have not come out great and I would suggest just sticking to the normal S20 range or the S20 Plus range. So if there's anything else you'd like to know guys, then uh, do drop a comment below. Otherwise, I hope that was a very useful review of the Space Zoom capabilities. I hope you subscribe. I've got a lot more reviews coming up on a lot more flagship phones and I will catch you guys next time. Take care.